Yesterday's practice was pretty cool. I think it was like 15 degrees, and now we're looking about 27, 28. So all the fluids are flowing a lot faster. Friction gets lower. Everything speeds up, basically. It feels a little bit softer, too. So we're kind of slowing down rebounds, adding a little bit of compression. And they're getting closer to racing, so everybody's nervous and probably pushing a bit. So I think we're doing the right thing. Way I felt it was bad yesterday morning is good now. Like rough stuff is good. I went up to the. Okay, just yeah, yeah, leave it. Down a bit. Leave Drop it, it back. Yeah, just you were 80, 89. 89. Just put it at 90. 90. Just put the. Just same, trying to set up like the bike, the. Whether that change a bit is harder, so we we'll just like tune like the compression and the rebound a bit, and uh, we're gonna be ready to go, I guess. Thank you, George. Like NASCAR. Le l'arrière, t'as checké la pression du pneu déjà? J'ai mis 30 psi. Okay. Et j'ai monté de 1 psi à l'avant. I did feel a lot better. Okay. I'm gonna do another one, so okay. I'd like to see if I can get more. Okay. And if it feels bad, I'll go back to yep. this. But just on those. On some of those rougher bits, I'm still getting that feeling, but I'm definitely able to push more in the turn. Okay. But if I can get any more about it, it would be fucking unreal. Okay. If not, then that's a good enough place. Just struggling with traction on some of the, uh, the kind of looser turns, the front's kind of pushing away a bit, so I think it's a bit fast, he's backed off a touch, and uh, we're just seeing now if we can go even more. So that was a good base, I'd definitely be able to race on that, but. Uh, it's, uh, I'm going to do another run just to see if there's any more I can gain. Just one more click of rebound on each. Right. Just, it is, yeah. How about, you just fucking hot Yeah, I think How that's all it is. 27 degrees there? Yeah. What's, uh, what about the shark? Same. Same. Sure. Hey, my name's Doug Hatfield, and I work for Lucas Shaw, and um, I work for the Santa Cruz Syndicate. And I'm over here talking to Jordy at Fox and making sure everything's good for uh, for Luca this morning. It's um, race day, and we're at Leo Gang, and we're really excited about the race. We're stoked. And any changes to the bike for the race day? Um, not anything big, but a couple little setting changes, and that's why I came over to talk to Jordy just to make sure we're both on on track. Did you high speed one? Yes. What do you know? I just lost everything wrong. <laughs> Schneedle, that's all you know. Yeah, I think yeah. that's... Give me a bit more from the player, right? It's like normal, like, it's so hot, everything's just... Just one and one, eh? Yep. Cool, thanks a lot. Thanks, Schneedle Wurtz. Don't be a dribbler. I'm ready for tomorrow. I'm ready for tomorrow. That is so inspiring. You should write a book. I'm ready for tomorrow. My life. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name's Scott Mears. I'm Danny Hart's mechanic. Um, we've just come up to the Fox suspension pits. Just a couple of last minute checks for just before we do race day here in Liu Gang. Bike's been riding well. We've made a few small changes across the weekend, but just up here just to make sure everything's okay. Everything's double checked. The temperature has changed quite a bit today, so should be all good. Good luck. Appreciate that. Thanks a lot, lads. Anytime. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Don't push it on it anymore. <laughs> Go on. Oh. <laughs> we here post race. Greg uh, did it again. Everyone counts him out and uh, did a pretty good job. I think qualifying fastest showed him he's back back at speed after a tough few years. And I think that's what he does best. Is like when people count him out. And I saw him a lot at the truck. I know when he's faffing with his with his setup. And I saw him on course actually looking at lines a lot. And it just shows you how serious he is about this thing. He wants to get it right. And I know he needs to faff. He needs to know that he's put all the effort in. And I think once he's done that, and him and Jordy get things going, even though probably some of it's just a golden rag, which means 
basically they'll wipe the suspension, tell them they've changed and they just leave it the same because it probably works better the same. But anyway, back to the main reason we're here is, uh, yeah, I mean, exciting race and uh, pretty good, cool to see him. Obviously, I've now stepped away from racing. I was always competing against him, but now even more so, I just want to see him do well, just to see him at that age be able to give it to the young guys. It's cool. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people think that, uh, that Greg puzzles, which he does, but I think it's all part of the plan. Um, it's just part of the process and he, he knows what he's doing even though he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, <laughs> no, but he, he actually does and it's, it's super cool to see like the, the process that he goes through of, of finding like the bike setup and like looking for extra time and um, the process of like what am I supposed to do for qualifying, what am I supposed to do for finals and, and like next thing you know it's finals and Greg is crushing it. So. He knows what he's doing, even though he puzzles like a uh, like wild. <laughs> he knows where the pieces go. <laughs> what's up? What's happening? <laughs> what kind of work have you been doing for Greg this weekend? Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. We've uh, literally just made sure his shot's on point. Um, Give out a few bleeds. Uh, but buy that item off the shelf if you want to service as much as you serviced it. It would be yours. Yeah, it's been a tough weekend. Like. We know the pace we have to get and I feel like you know where you have to go and as fast you have to go so it's been a, a mission kind of like I know how fast you have, you have to go basically and um, it's been tough but we're gonna come back stronger and I feel like it's experience too like everyone came through that low egg everyone so I feel like uh, it's just the, the way of going there and uh, even Troy just like building up like for the last two years so I need to take yeah, advantage of that situation and just grab some points and when you know it's like possible to go first it's like actually pretty hard so I'm gonna try to focus on not thinking about too much and well you're on pace for a good run there weren't you yeah for sure like I had a slow start really slow start because I wasn't into it first of all and I had to get back on time and uh, I yeah I had to get some time back and um, it's been a, a good weekend, but a little crash, like, we had mistakes, um, it happens, I guess, but trying to not think about it too much, kind of, it's just, yeah, I feel like a junior, but I am a junior in that category, so just like, yeah, maybe fine for Andorra. Yeah, sweet, thanks for it. Pretty much feel like I'm a good luck charm. I. Yeah, the last last week I serviced the fork and he did a wee bit better. This week I serviced the fork again and he did much better. So yeah, I, I definitely feel like I'm a good luck charm and they should they should probably have me service his fork all for the rest of the year. Julia. Julie servicing is amazing. <laughs> I mean these guys are useless. Look at him. He's the most inefficient German I've ever met. I mean, we're going back to Scotland, yeah. This is where it's at. Jewels, women, back to like attention for detail. Sometimes you need some more input and only shorty, and then we sit together and make some decision together, even if it's only one click. And on the end, I give him a hug and then. Most of the time it works, like this weekend again. That's where the magic happens, eh? When you're in the heat of the moment, you do puzzle. Oh, I mean he does, but, but when we puzzle in, we're onto something good. We are, yeah. When we're in the heat, we make sure it happen. Look at this, look at this week. I mean, we tried four different cities. Pretty close. Four. Yeah. In, in an hour. I mean, I can count. We tried four different cities. But the thing is, if we didn't have those options, we couldn't find the sweet spot. You can never find the sweet spot anyway. Yesterday was overcast and like things were good, and we know, we know that when it's hot, things get soft and get fast. We slowed each down. We're a bit stiffer, we're a bit slow on the rebound. 
I think it was a cool coming out. My bike was really, really good in the final. The bike was amazing. The rider was like borderline. I grabbed those brakes off the wall for it was a real mistake. Flip it was a big mistake. <laughs> but barring that, it was cool. I'm never good at the first split, never good at the second. But Wait, you were good back. at the second. I don't know. I, I, I step it up. I keep going. Yeah. Anyway. The woods, you were good. Yeah, you were not bad for a 37 year old. You know. Father Christmas. Can't wait to take the blue pool when I'm your age. I'm a cool breeze feeling fine.